we have been striking now for for over a year and still basically nothing has happened. She arrived to cheers at a United Nations climate summit in Madrid. After being greeted by a flood of media at a train station in the Spanish capital, where she pulled up following an overnight trip from Lisbon. The latest step on a journey preceded by an environmentally friendly cross Atlantic voyage from New York. 16 year old climate activist Greta Thunberg, who sparked a global youth led movement after striking outside the Swedish parliament last year, joining Friday's march in Madrid. At one point, though, she had to leave in an electric car. I'm sorry, but due to safety concerns in a massive crowd. Earlier in the day, she addressed a summit panel, saying although the voices of young climate strikers are being heard, politicians are still not taking action. The climate crisis is still being ignored by those in power, and we cannot go on like this. It is not a sustainable solution that children skip school. We cannot go on like that. So. Uh, we don't want to continue, so we would, we would love some action from, from the people in power. I mean, because people, people are suffering and dying from the climate and ecological emergency today, and we cannot wait any longer. The two-week summit is now at the halfway mark. By the end of the talks, international negotiators hope to resolve remaining disagreements on how to implement the 2015 Paris Agreement. The pact, which Canada is a part of, aims to limit the rise of global temperatures to between 1.5 and 2 degrees Celsius over pre-industrial levels. And Canada's Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Jonathan Wilkinson, he is headed to the summit in Madrid next week. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.